Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.41 and the statement of it is a candy company distributes boxes of chocolate with a mixture of creams, toffees and cordials. Suppose that the weight of each box is 1 kilogram but the individual weights of the creams, toffees and cordials vary from box to box. For a randomly selected box, let X and Y represent the weights of the creams and toffees respectively. Okay, so let me first write the given data and in the given data we can write here that the weight of each box is 1 kilogram that is understood and also the creams and toffees have been represented with X and Y. Okay, so let me write here creams weights are represented with x and weights of toffees are represented with y okay so these are the two given things and also the total weight which includes creams toffees and cordials are composed of a one box which is of one kg okay so uh, suppose that the joint density function of these variables is given by f x y where 224 xy is the density function which lies in between the ranges of x greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 the range of y is greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 and the combined weight of x and y can be less than or equal to 1 okay and it is 0 elsewhere so on the basis of it what do we have to do we have to find the probability that in a given box the cordials account for more than half of the weight okay so in solving the part a of our question we have to find the probability that cordials are what their weight is more than one by two or half of the weight so that is greater than one by two okay? but here we can very easily see that the joint distribution or joint density function doesn't encounter the cordials it is only including the weights of the creams and toffees so therefore if the weight of the cordials is greater than one by two so it means the combined weight of x and y will be less than one by two so what i can do here is that i can here very clearly see that it will be x plus y will be less than or equal to 1 by 2 okay so it must be understood in this way okay so it will be like this one so now in order to find this probability what do we have to do we have to find the probability that x plus y is less than or equal to 1 by 2 so we can use here for this addition we can very clearly see that this is a continuous function so for it we can use the integration okay so for integrating it we have to use different ranges of x and y so if the y range is from 0 to 1 by 2 so the range of x would be from 0 to 1 by 2 minus the weight of a y okay so this will be subtracted from 1 by 2 okay so now writing the function here and that is 24 x y okay and also integrating it with respect to x and integrating it with respect to y as well okay because now we have been adding the two functions so therefore i have to add them together by using the integration which is for the continuous functions now here 0 to 1 by 2 and integrating it first with respect to x okay this part so what will we get here we will get 24 and here this is with respect to x so x square divided by 2 and here we will have y okay and also it will be from 0 to 1 by 2 minus y and integrating with y is left okay so now it will be 12 okay and also putting these values what i will get here i will get 12 will be outside and here it will be 0 1 by 2 and putting these ranges here i will get 1 by 2 minus y whole square okay and also this y here and then dy okay so this is for this one okay this is 
the function we have got now after it using the integration by parts okay so integration by parts for this one for dy at the end putting all the limits and all the values what i will get at the end the answer of it will be 1 over 16 you can use here integration by parts by yourself and see that the answer of it will be 1 by 16 and that is what that is the solution of part a of my question okay so i hope you have understood it now moving somehow downwards okay and now seeing part b of my question okay so what is part b find the marginal density for the weight of the creams okay so weight of the creams are represented with x okay we have seen that and for it let me find the marginal density for it and let me represent it with g of x okay so let me find it out and finding it out i have to define the limits for the function which is here so it will be from zero to work for any value which will be less than one kg because if it will be composed of the cream the other items will also be included so those would the weight of the cream will be subtracted from 1 which is the 1 kg so therefore it will be from 0 to 1 minus x the quantity of the creams subtracted from the 1 kg okay so now writing here the value is 24 x y and now again integrating it with respect to dy okay so now using it and what i will get here i will get 24 x and here this will become what y square divided by 2 and here is 0 1 minus x okay so now it will become 24 and this this will become 12 here so i will get here 12 okay and here 12 x and putting 1 minus x and 0 here so ultimately i will get 1 minus x square and that is for the marginal density for x or weight of the cream so that is what we have found out this is the answer of part b of my question so also the range of x will be here what we have to define the range of x as well so the range of x will be greater or equal to zero and it will be restricted less than one because all other items will also be included so i am not making it equal to one so that is the solution of part b now moving to the part c of my question find the probability that the weight of the toffees in a box is less than 1 by 8 kg okay so let me first write the given data here we have to find the probability that the weight of the toffees in a box is less than 1 by 8 and we have seen that the weight of the toffees were represented with what that those were represented with y and creams were with x so therefore the weight of y is less than 1 by 8 kgs okay if it is known that creams constitute 3 by 4 of the weights and given here is that creams which are x these are of 3 by 4 we have to find it out okay and we can very clearly see that this is the case of a conditional probability okay because one probability has been given and on the basis of it we have to find the probability of another item which is the case of the conditional probability now using it and finding it out the formula we have already known for the conditional probability is the p x and y divided by the probability of x okay y x because here you can see that this probability is given so this will be written here and those two items has been included here as well okay so we can see it here as well now writing their values do we know the probability of x y yes this is the same thing which is already given in the question we can see that this is what this is already given here in the question which is 24 x y okay let me write it here 24 x y okay and the probability of x do we know it yes that is also the marginal density which we have here and that is 12 x 1 minus x so 12 x 1 minus x square okay so 
so these two will cancel out this will be 2 and ultimately I will get what I will get 2y divided by 1 minus x whole square okay so that is what that is the formula for the conditional probability which is given here and here we have to consider the ranges of x and y as well so putting those values here okay so putting the values of x and y here because the value of x is already given so putting this 3 by 4 here what i will get here the probability that y is less than 1 by 8 such that x is equal to 3 by 4 okay so here now putting the value of x which is 3 by 4 so i will get 2y divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 okay so this will be squared okay so i will get here 2y divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4 so this will become 1 over 16 which will be 32 y okay so this is what this is for the marginal density of this one okay so this is for 32 y and now in order to find the value for that instance what we have to do we have to integrate our value from 0 to 1 by 8 okay so now integrating it from 0 to 1 by 8 because we are going to find the marginal density so here it will become 32y dy okay so now it will be 32 into y square divided by 2 and it will be from 0 to 1 by 8 and ultimately solving it what i will get i will get here 1 by 4 okay so the answer of this is 1 by for which we have already found out okay so that is basically the solution of part c of my question in which we have seen that how can we find out the conditional probabilities or conditional density function from any given data okay so you have understood that after finding the conditional probability formula from it i have to integrate it in this range because no any restricted range has been defined but this is the cumulative range and for that i have to integrate it as well okay I, therefore i had integrated in and the formula given me the answer which is 1 by 4 okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.41 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon